comes to the death penalty, from one aspect, I would say I support the moral uh, idea that some people do deserve death for their crimes. But from a legal standpoint, I would never want to put that kind of power in the hands of the government. And there's an epistemological nature of it which should guide the legal system where you know this is not a door you can walk back through after you've gone through it because it's so final Mm -hmm. and the issue of proving beyond any shadow of a doubt is let's just say it's epistemologically demanding in such a way that it seems crazy to me that we should actually have a death penalty even if we could say hey if i had total certainty i wouldn't i wouldn't be morally opposed to it but i i think it's terrifying to get to give that power to the state and the idea that you might uh end a person's life who's actually innocent of what they're accused of Mm -hmm. it's (laughs) for that reason i would say legally I am totally opposed to the death penalty. Yeah, I feel, I definitely feel the same way. Um, that's that's my main reason. Um, well, I guess I have two. I, I have the idea that um, in a in a society that we can all feel safe in, that we should trust that we are safe from death. Um, so, just because we are humans, we should feel comforted that. Um, the government's going to make sure that we can feel safe from death, even if we might deserve it. But the second reason would be what you just said, which is it, you can have some cases where it's, there's pretty darn good proof and you, you need proof to put somebody in jail for life anyways. But there's so many cases where um, people will get the death penalty and then it'll turn out that they were innocent, that it's, it's just not worth the risk. Yeah, I agree. And I think that, to be fair, even if we disagree somewhat on the moral aspect, or if we came at it from a slightly different aspect or emphasized a different part of it, if we could still come to the same basic legal conclusion, we're in pretty good shape, aren't we? I mean, Mm -hmm. we're not going to be going out on the street uh, (laughs) trying to fight each other over this stuff for not having perfect agreement on every single particular aspect of it. Yeah. Well, and I think that's a big part of morals being so individual and then the legal side of things should be equal to all of us. Right. Yeah. Well, certainly I believe in objective law and you have to adjudicate based on things that are basically proven. And so, like I say, in some essence, it's like, well, in theory, if you could absolutely prove something, with uh, total certainty, that is one thing. But obviously, if we know that a crime has been carried out and we we have no other alternative explanation available other than this person has done it and all the evidence points in that direction, it's essentially right to imprison them. Um, but not, I would say, to go the next step of actually ending their life because your knowledge is contextual and even if you have contextual certainty that does not necessarily mean that new evidence may not come to light which if you properly integrated it wouldn't actually make you doubt your original decision and so that's the, that's the issue is uh yeah going that far with it seems a little crazy so i'm glad we're, we're in agreement <laughs> yeah. there one one you thing know, i find interesting um, I guess it's not, it doesn't matter too much because it's in the past, but analyzing how different it would be at different times. So right now we have the capability of putting somebody in jail for life. And I think we're, you know, at least in the U S in uh, Canada and England and m- most places we have that capability to not worry about like prison breaks and stuff. But I, I would, um, argue, um, playing devil's advocate a little bit that back in the day, like maybe, maybe uh, visualize like Western movies or something where somebody, you know, kills 10 people, gets put in the prison 
and it's a small prison that their their posse can come and like put chains on the prison wall and break down the prison wall and they get out. Um, or another comparison would be just like how Batman always locks up <laughs> the Joker and the Riddler and all these guys that uh, might be killing tons of people, but if you keep putting them in jail and they get out and kill more people, I would argue in favor of the death penalty if we didn't live in a society that was capable of preventing them from killing again. Yeah, and to be fair, this is this is a big problem for legal scholars. I don't think I'm going to be able to solve this one on my own, but that might be one of those circumstances where we are also now meeting such a rigorous epistemological standard. It's like, oh, you know, somebody has now broken this guy out. He's reoffended. Geez, we caught him on camera five times, you know? <laughs> and mm-hmm. It's like you do get to a certain point where there really is no longer any doubt or even if the doubt is, well, we don't know if he carried out this particular one, but he's still, you know, he did carry out 15 confirmed hits for the mob. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You know, it's like I say, I, I'm not necessarily saying that forever and always that maybe, um, you know, such a thing should not go that far. But you're also probably right that with respect to, you know, a, a well-ran state, with a monopoly on uh, violence that runs things in a non-corrupt way, the odds of having to deal with this, uh, you know, the prison break scenario, it's, it starts to go down to the level of vanishingly small. So mm-hmm. it's like in terms of whether you even apply it or have the opportunity to apply a death sentence under such a, uh, such a set of circumstances would become so vanishingly small. Yeah. Well, yeah. and you can almost view it like uh, uh, the cases it would be needed would be a self-defense for the future. <laughs> so so there, if, some, if there's a likelihood somebody would break out and offend again, then executing them would be a form of self-defense with just um, knowing what's to come, where if, if you can put them in jail for life, you don't need to defend against anything because the harm is, is put away. 